Hello ladies and gents, welcome back. Today I'm going to turn this uh, coffee grinder, coffee mill, which was sent by a good friend of mine, Alan Simpson. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. He also sent me a, a couple of blanks, which I did turn last year. So today I was thinking what I could do and I think it's time to turn something I haven't done before well I haven't fitted one of these it's, it's not that difficult it's just um, making it a small tenon to, to fit right in here so I'm thinking of using this English walnut I've seen people turning like a, a spindle, uh, like a traditional pepper mill, you know, those, and have these right on top. But I want to be able to store the coffee grind. I don't want to just uh, grind whenever I want to have a coffee. I want to grind once, grind a lot, and store it in here. And this could be the lid. Both are English walnut, but this one has a nice grain. The grain won't match, but at least it's same type of wood. So hey guys, um, one thing before we start, always wear a respirator and face shield.
Yeah. Now I'm going to apply my Coco Slime Wax. I will do this two more coats after uh, off camera. Uh, but I won't be showing for the other parts for the lid and the inside the lid. Just, just know that I'm going to do the same process. Uh, Yorkshire grit, then uh, my Coco Slime Wax. And then when I'm buffing it, I, I will also apply a coat on top of the Canopla, Canopla wax. I, I can't pronounce that, but yeah. Okay guys, I just finished applying microcrystalline to the inside and I've hollowed underneath the rim as well so it's nice and big and you can see the uh, the darker grain through here as well
guys I've applied the finish to the inside just just I just wanted to show you guys before we start I drilled from this side so here I don't have to worry to get it center you know get the hole in the center because when you drill you see you get these bad edges I'd rather have it on this side than and the inside because you can't reverse back backwards you know to clean it up so it makes sense to do it this way So I just need to sand now a little bit on the inside to get the diameter exact right and then this would sit nicely in there. Guys check this out, fits in there nicely and I've got just about enough, I could round this up, make it look nice and then uh, round this one as well. Alright guys, it's all done. I just finished sanding it. I forgot to turn this around. The project was so fun to make. Thank you Alan for send me, sending me this coffee grinder. Check this out guys. I like the design. And I had and I didn't have it in my mind, you know, before before I start turning it. It just it just came. I will put some pictures at the at the end. Such a lovely grain this walnut has. And I leave them I leave my projects now uh blank underneath because I'm gonna uh, laser engrave my logo and date it I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing little boxes for for a bit you know I've been posting them back to back so I'm gonna come up with a different project someone suggested doing a lidded box that has a secret uh, secret uh, lidded box in secret box inside the lidded box so I've been thinking and I've got an idea but since I've been doing lidded boxes a lot lately I'll leave it for later do some more projects different type of projects and then I'll do that one but thank you for suggesting uh, it got me thinking and I come up came up with the uh, with the plan thank you all for watching I hope you you continue watch my uh, videos and I appreciate all of you guys who commented on the last video don't forget to like and subscribe we're we're close to 2,000 subscribers when we reach the 2000 I'm gonna give away one of my projects I will do a video and I will give it away and I will send it to anywhere in the world so please do subscribe we're really close thank you all for watching take care